when a family starts with Ivanhoe Grammar, one of the key things that we say to them in orientation is that, welcome to our Ivanhoe family. And when you're part of our Ivanhoe family, it's not just the, the, the son or the daughter, it is indeed the whole family. And we encourage our parents to engage with and be involved in our community because by doing so, they connect with their children, they connect with the staff, and together, children, families, staff grow. It's been a wonderful journey because it was an opportunity for me personally to recruit, I would say, 20 of the most passionate educators uh, that will commit to teaching at the university campus. So that's been incredibly exciting for me. I love my job, I always have. You know, you have this experience in your life that you get to share with others. And being a teacher, it's more than that. It's being able to be a part of someone's life for that little bit and making that little bit of difference and seeing how they grow. And I think all teachers feel that. At the start of the class, it's really, here is the learning for the session, and then they're free to explore and play. So that was us allowing kids to be innovative, reflective, courageous. So for us, the proof's in the pudding, because it's fun, it's playing, but the depth of thinking is there. Some of the Ivanhoe ideals like uh, collaborating, showing courage, showing compassion, they're, they're all on show today. We, um, we especially ask our grade sixes to show leadership and um, help out, help organise the team with their teachers, help the young kids. We've had grade sixes swimming beside some little grade threes who are swimming their first ever lap of swimming, just to make sure of it. Whether they win or lose, we're cheering for every house. When we call out the scores, the team is coming fourth, all the team is coming first, gets, they all get the same cheer. I've set up this theatre department to be a training ground in an environment where they can tap into all of the resources that make theatre theatre. They've taken so many different little pieces of that design thinking process and hopefully they can use one or two or, or all five and uh, and think of us. Just the quality of the work. I'm so proud of my young artists. They're, they're doing a really great job. I love that every single day is different. I really enjoy the scale of the work, working with students, teachers, and their families. And I can have a, an impact on a very wide audience. All the kids who are here um, just put on a, a fabulous show of what they've learned throughout the year. Um, the excitement that they were able to talk about what they'd done, it's a bit of a, a heartwarming moment I reckon, so yeah. Well I guess the same as we encourage our kids to, take, to have courage in what they're doing in their learning. I, I see this as an opportunity to experiment, to you know, take risks in my teaching, in what we deliver, in the way we deliver it. It's actually really exciting to be a learner again. I think that perhaps what people don't realise is that even for us as teachers, because we're being ex exposed to a whole lot of different resources, we're learning at the same time as the kids. How do I feel about this place? I love it. I love it. I love coming to work. I love working with these people. It's been fabulous. We're just really grateful and fortunate that we can work here and in a place that we think is going to be a really long-lasting legacy for Ivanhoe Grammar School. Obviously if you're in a canoe, if you don't work together, you're just going to go round and round in circles. So pretty much teamwork is really important and uh, that ability to be able to work in sync with your partner. So you're going to be able to communicate. Well, we had about just about two minutes to get all the, the canoes out of the, the water there. So uh, that's how I got drenched. And obviously you can see I'm very well prepared, um, but no, it was all, it's all part of character building and, and uh, you know, just sort of resilience. They're sort of working together in a team to kind of collaborate and encourage each other to go on the flying fox. Some of them I think are a little bit nervous so I think it's really great that they just have the courage to overcome the, that adversity and let it go. They're doing better than I can. I was really uh, glad to see when we're on the bikes a few dips, a few really steep ones and a few kids who weren't that uh, courageous at the beginning but who became courageous later on and they're like they saw the mountain they saw their friends do it and they think oh, they can do it I can do it so just seeing one another succeed inspires them to succeed. I think 
the teachers have been amazing at uh, finding ways to, to deliver for and cater for all the, the kids in their different classrooms. I think we've got, as we know in classrooms, there's such a wide range of skills and, and needs and I think our teachers have used the, the, the digital tools in particular very well um, to cater for that. Because we're not obviously able to um, see them here at the school so we can't do all the things that we'd love to be doing as normal but we're trying to keep them in a good space and keep them active and healthy. I feel like we've managed to get to a point in our setup that to be honest there's, there's, we haven't diminished the quality of what we deliver. Yes we much prefer them face to face but because the session is live we're evolving, we're adapting as the session evolves because we're seeing how the children respond and then we're changing that program accordingly. To the staff's credit, in particular the leaders of our various programs, they've left no stone unturned trying to figure out ways to make the co-curricular program still happen and happen in an engaging way and happen in a meaningful way and happen in a safe way. Um, I'm assuming that most of them would have said that I'm their favourite teacher. very lucky, all the wonderful things that we can do, all the great opportunities we can provide and I think that's what makes us really special. You know, we're eager, we've got eager staff, we've got eager leaders that really want to make the experience and learning journey exciting and engaging for every student that comes through our doors and I like to be a part of that.